So get it on there like that. And it's not rocket science. And that's precisely Don Simone's point. As this mushroom man spreads topsoil over his growing bins, he loves sharing his passion for fungi. Uh, well, you know, somebody needs to educate the public. I mean, they can't stay ignorant all their time, all their life. <laughs> <laughs> so they call on you the mushroom man. Well, they call me the mushroom man. Yes, they do. But, you know, that's okay. Don is a mushroom farmer, marketer, and educator. His business is called Mushroom Adventures. Since the mid-1990s, he's been selling home mushroom growing kits across the country. The kits are prepared at his Northern California mushroom farm. It's a pretty small operation here. It is. We only have about four or five people at any one time working here. Some of them are part-timers, some of them are volunteers. And so, you know, we're very close to the entire process. How many of these will you ship out in a year, would you say? Well, we can ship about nine or 10,000 is our max. Nine or 10,000. The boxes are filled with inoculated compost in a bag of topsoil. Donald and his crew have done the hard work. Once the boxes are in the home, it takes about two to three weeks for the mushrooms to appear. People buy them for themselves. There are people who just are curious about how mushrooms grow. But we get a lot of these sold during the holiday season as presents, either for Christmas, birthday presents, Hanukkah presents. Um, they're going to spend the money and give a gift anyway. Why not give them something that's so unusual that they probably have never had it before? That's a great idea. I know. Do you wrap it? Yes. They wrap it up and they open Merry it up. Merry Christmas. Yeah. And then, Enjoy your mushrooms. And then you get mushrooms <laughs> for three months afterwards. I mean, how nice is that? Here's your box of dirt. <laughs> not dirt. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> well, some I'm, people get a lump of coal. Yeah, some people get a lump of coal. We we give you a lump of compost. <laughs> I've always been a farmer at heart. I'll tell you a quick story. When I was a boy, my father took me to a five and dime store and I saw these little packets of things on the shelf and I said, what are those? And my father said, those are seeds. And I said, what are they for? And he goes, well, you put them in the ground and they'll grow you food. I went, no way, that's like magic. Can we get some? So we bought three packets and we took them home and we put them in the ground and sure enough, they sprouted after a couple of weeks. And next thing you know, I had corn and I had some beans and I just was like, I was hooked. We have two operations going on here. We have the mushroom kit business, which we had far before we had our growing operation. And now we have our growing operation where we grow oysters, shiitakes and white buttons, portobellas and cremini's year round and we've been selling those at the farmer's markets for about the last five to seven years. The mushrooms are grown in shipping containers converted into temperature and moisture controlled growing houses. So these are shiitakes. Shiitakes. Some of these are big. I know, they can grow rather large. Our strain that we use seems to grow quite a few big ones. These are good looking mushrooms, aren't they? They are, thank you. And if you cook them like a portobello, they're absolutely fantastic. This one here, is actually fantastically perfect. And actually, you, you don't cut it, you, 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 you just push it off the stem like that. Oh, just snap it right look off. That, look at that, how beautiful. Whew. Look at the underside of that right there. Right. Then, now sometimes we just pick them and take them in the warehouse and then we cut them, but in this case, I can cut the stem off right now and show you how we do it, and then we put it in the box. And that's going to the farmer's market this weekend? That's going to the farmer's market this weekend. How much will you get for a mushroom like that? Oh, let's see. Good size? That's about a quarter pound. That's about a $3 mushroom. $3 mushroom right there. <laughs> that's what you like, right? That's what I like. I like $3 mushrooms. What is it about the mushroom that, when you, when you describe the taste of a mushroom, mm -hmm. what do you tell folks? Well, I have to say, sometimes it's a challenge um, to describe a flavor. For example, like the shiitake mushrooms, I tell people it has a rich, earthy taste. And oyster mushrooms have a flavor similar to kind of chicken meat with the same texture. Mm -hmm. It's a whole different flavor. And 
portobellas and creminis, they have, it's uh, kind of like a more mushroomy flavor than the white buttons. The white buttons are probably the least flavored. Don's mushroom growing began as a hobby, and 20 years later, it's a full-time farming and business operation. It also turned Don Simone into this fungi's number one fun guy. Sort of built a little mushroom empire back here, haven't you? I guess you could say that, yeah. <laughs> we're, we're mushrooming. <laughs> Your business is mushrooming. <laughs> oh, I'm going to let that one slide. Oh, that's okay, that's fine. <laughs> Here's a colorful fact. Mushrooms grow in many colors, from red and green to pink and purple. Long before the invention of synthetic dyes, mushrooms were widely used for dyeing wool and other natural fibers. The mushroom's organic compounds produce strong, vivid colors. <laughs>